a quick walk around. Everything's secured. Check the tires. Jacks are all up. Check my air pressure in these tires. Hot water heater's off. Propane is off. <clears throat> Stabilizer jacks, chains. Boy bar. And that's it. We are ready to go. Harvest Host location, Draper Mercantile in Draper, Virginia. It's definitely in the mountains. Check this out. It's beautiful. Got cows over there. Got a little chicken coop. The horses on the other side. The dogs are very interested in. We had a pretty good ride up here. We took 81 out of. Um, I went through West Virginia, took 81 South, hit a lot of the mountains, killed my gas mileage, but it was a nicer drive than taking 95. So we had no traffic, just a lot of truckers and the roads were pretty open, which was nice. Tomorrow we're making our way to Savannah and we're gonna check into a state park there and check out some of the sites around Savannah some St. Paddy's Day uh, festivities, and it should be fun. Right back. Um, I mean, kind of a little bit more further to the right. I can. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see on my driver's side. Am I clear on that side? Good morning from Fort McAllister State Park just outside of Savannah, Georgia. We got in last night, had some dinner, it rained last night, but this morning it was beautiful. Look at this weather. Went out for a four and a half mile run, wake myself up a little bit. Uh, and then now we need to move over there to some a new site. Um, we were only in this last site for one night. We're then in this site across the, across just across the street, next site over for three nights. So we'll be here for three more nights. Today we're gonna take dogs for a good old long walk so they're tired out. And then we're gonna head to into Savannah. Go check it out. It's St. Patty's Day, so I hear it's uh, quite a party.
beautiful morning here at Fort McAllister State Park. I'm just out walking the dog. Got some deer in the background. I don't know if you can see them. So, we've done a lot while we were here. Um, so we got here on Wednesday. Thursday we went in and checked out the St. Paddy's Day festivities. That was definitely wild. Um, a lot of people, they say anywhere from 100 to 200,000 people convene on that area um, for St. Paddy's Day. The parade's nuts. We didn't end up going to the parade because you have to pre-plan, you have to take a shuttle, and we just didn't have enough time for that. We had to move our sites, um, and it just wasn't going to work out. Friday, we went to Fourth Sites Park. Big open green area, um, but a lot of those beautiful trees with the Spanish moss through them. Big fountain in the middle. Uh, a lot of people had their dogs out there walking their dogs. Two really nice playgrounds for kids, and um, just really nice area to walk around and enjoy. It was huge. I don't know how big that place is, but you could you could spend quite a long time there. We checked that out. Uh, checked out a couple other places. This big historical church that Kim wanted to check out. We walked around. Just Savannah is beautiful. Everything about it is very well manicured. Um, you know, it's just a really nice area just to walk around and check out the really nice houses. So yesterday we checked out Wormslow Historical Site. Really nice place to go to. Um, I'm sure you've probably have seen a picture or two of it. It's got this long road, with trees lining the road, and Spanish moss hanging down. Um, a lot of people visit this area. We got there around 10.30, 11 o'clock, and by the time we left, around 12.30ish, it was packed. I mean, there was people just filing in there. Um, but you pay a small entrance fee when you get there, $10 a person. You drive down the long road, there's two trails at the end of the road and you can walk through the trails, there's some ruins at the end for some, for some previous settlers that lived there. Um, it was kind of cool, they built it out of uh, lime and oyster shells and you can see the oyster shells in, like, in the, I guess what you would call brick. A lot more information inside the museum, but Kim and I are not museum people, so we didn't do too much reading there. Um, little gift shop, it was a nice area to check out. Spent a couple hours, or you know, probably an hour and a half there, brought the dogs out. The Tabby Ruins behind you this were constructed in 1745. It is program. the oldest standing structure in the Savannah area. Looking at it, you might think these Tabby Ruins just did. Walked them on the trail. Dogs are allowed there. Uh, so we brought dogs there and walked them around. Checked that area back out and came back to the campsite. Did some laundry and, you know, just stuff you gotta do when you're living on the road. And then um, we went back in the town and checked out a local restaurant. And then we came back in for the night. We've had a lot of rain. Um, I think both days, it's two nights it's rained pretty significantly. Um, came down pretty good last night. We had a pretty nasty storm roll through, thunderstorm. Got caught in the rain. So this crazy storm came through. And. We made the biggest mistake of all, we forgot to bring our awnings on, in, excuse me, don't ever make that mistake, dumb mistake, we're not rookies, we should have never made this mistake, well, the big old storm came through, and yeah, we're just waiting on the storm, because damage is probably already done, but now, I gotta get back to the campsite, I gotta pack up the rest of our stuff, um, we are headed down to Florida today. We're hitting a harvest host in Ocala for an overnight stay. On our way down to Naples to uh, mooch dock off my uncle down there. And we're gonna hang out down there for a little while and enjoy the sights of Naples uh, and the surrounding areas down there. 